you're going to need a pencil or a pen and a piece of paper. So if you don't have those things now, just pause me and go and find them. Okay, have you got the things that you need? Good. I would like you to try and write me the word spied. I spied an ant in the garden. I spied. And I want you to use this spelling of the I sound. So the I and the E together. Have a go, write it down. Spied. 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 Have a go. Okay, that's great. Now, listen carefully. This is your next word. Quite a long word, so listen. Underline. That means to put a line underneath somebody, something. When we're writing, we say, can you underline the title? So listen carefully. A, n, d, a, l, i, n. Quite a lot of sounds in that word. So, we can say the word under on its own. Think about how to make that uh sound at the end of a word. Under, uh, nd, uh. See if you can write that part first. Under, uh, nd, uh, under. And then the second syllable, uh, the third syllable, in fact, uh, und, uh, line is I want you to use the split digraph spelling of line. Under, line. So now write l, ein, underline. How have you done that? Okay, and our last one, we're going to use just the I on its own to make the I, I sound. And you're going to write find. Please, can you find me? A hundred square. I quite often say that, don't I? Go and find me a hundred square. So can you write the word find, find, just with the I? Okay. Have you done that? Brilliant. So let's have a look together then. So our first word was spied. I spied an ant in the garden. So ha let's have a look. sp -eyed. Spied. Did you get that one? If you didn't, it doesn't, ma it doesn't matter. Just correct it, make it right, and then we'll move on to the next one. So our next word was underline. So three syllables, underline. So let's have a look at the first part, under. Did you remember this spelling of the uh sound? Uh, nd, uh, under, l, ein. Our split digraph. So our whole word says underline. Please underline the title in your work. Did you get that one? If you didn't, just fix the bits that you got wrong and we'll move on to the next word. Okay, so our last word was a little bit shorter, was find. And we were just using the I sound spelt with an I on its own. So this should have been a little bit easier. I, nd. Please will you find me a number line? Please will you find me a hundred square? Did you get that? If you didn't, it doesn't matter. Just fix it so it's right now and then we'll go on to the next part of our lesson. Okay? So we are going to do our reading now. So let's have a look. We have got a sentence here to read together. So let's have a look first and see if we can see any keywords. So we have I. When you were in reception, this was a keyword. And when you were in reception, this was a keyword. But we have learned that sometimes the Y at the end of a word makes the I I sound. So that, now you're in year one, is a sounding out word. This word here, if you did the phonics task from last week, you will remember that sometimes an A, when it comes after a W 
sound, a W or a qu, it makes an O sound. So this word isn't a key word anymore. You can sound it out. W, O, S, was. Okay, so we've just got our I word from reception. And then there's this one more key word from year one is friend. Do you remember friend ends in end? But we don't say free end, do we? We just say friend. So that's the two key words in there. Everything else we can sound out. So let's sound it out together. Oops. I cried out side, but my friend was. I -d. Let's read it from the beginning, make sure it makes sense. I cried outside, but my friend was kind. I cried outside, but my friend was kind. Okay, now we're just coming to the last part of our lesson and you're going to need your pencil or your pen and your piece of paper because this is where I would like you to write a sentence. Okay, so remember what sentences need at the beginning and at the end. Yes, you're right. A capital letter at the beginning and a full stop at the end and some finger spaces in between your words. And this is our sentence. She tried to find China on the map. So she is an easy word. You learnt how to spell that in reception. Off you go. She tried, listen carefully to Miss Fothers, tried, and you're going to use this spelling of the I sound. It's not a ch, 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 ch sound. It's a t, 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 and a r, tr. She tried to, our keyword, find, and you're going to use this spelling of the I sound, just the I on its own. She tried to find China. Now, China is the name of a country. So if it's the name of something, what does it need at the beginning? Yes, it needs a capital letter. The names of people and places need capital letters. So China, and again, you're spelling the I sound with just the I, the letter I. China. China. So you should have written, she tried to find China. And then the last part of our sentence is on the map. Don't forget the end of your sentence. Let's have a look together. So she, with a capital S, she tried to find China, with a capital C, China on the map. And let's have a look if we can find our I sounds in there. Look, we've got the I sound there, the I on its own there, and the I on its own there. She tried to find China on the map. Okay, well done. See you soon.